Welcome to Community Cocktails with Kimberly, hosted by Kimberly Woodard, a realtor who's been selling homes in North Texas with more than 21 years of experience. Join her every first and third Wednesday of the month as she meets with top community leaders, local businesses, and real estate industry experts to help you get to know the area you want to call home. Don't just love your home, love your community. And now your host, Kimberly Woodard. Welcome viewers to this episode of Community Cocktails with Kimberly. I am so thrilled to bring back a guest that she's been on my podcast a couple times and her name is Gina um, and Gina is a licensed professional counselor and we have so much to talk about today um, about goal settings and for some of y'all I know the we've got one month um, of this year under our belts and some of you are sticking with those goals you set. Some of y'all may be a little bit, oh, on uh, those and some of y'all are like oh maybe I forgot to start on January 1 is it too late so mm -hmm. Gina welcome let's address mm -hmm. these <laughs> thank you so much for having me back I love being here and getting to talk to you and your audience yeah happy new year happy new year I know um can you believe one month into wow. 2024 we were talking mm -hmm. um off camera how you know, years back, we would think of, you know, 2024 as so far along, and now we're here. <laughs> now we're here, and now is such a good time to really kind of talk about, you know, goal setting and how we're going to approach the new year. Right. Um, and really, you know, this time of the year is a really good time to, um, as we were talking about before with um, off camera, going into this, um, going into the year, you know, we might think, you know, some of us may start off in January, early January, you know, just really focused on our goals. But a lot of us really, you know, kind of have some range in there where, you know, we're, we're recovering from the new year or from the, the holidays. We're just getting started back up into the new year. So it's hard to add extra and focus on new things whenever we're just trying to get catch our breath and not to mention the the weather stuff that we had oh. which kind of threw things off a little bit so it definitely helps to you know kind of have some time to decompress and reset and get into our routines or, or you know kind of get started on our routines before we add new so that we can be able to see how new goals you know how to incorporate those going into the year definitely definitely so basically it is not um too late to start <laughs> absolutely not absolutely not well we were talking you have basically three pillars here that we're going to dive into um on you know how we can you know really set you know whether you are you know you're the cheerleader and you are you know rah rah you know, keeping with those goals, or if you are the one that is it too late to st um, start my goals, or if you maybe you uh, did a little oopsie on uh, mm -hmm. those goals <laughs> and yeah. you're trying to um, restart them. <laughs> Let's just say that. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. So wherever you are in the process, you know, the, you know, one of the first things to, to re really kind of think about is, kind of taking a look at your goal and making sure that we're coming from a healthy mindset. Yeah. So, um, you know, so if we are working on a goal where it's coming from a place, maybe a feeling like, you know, this is, we're doing this to kind of play catch up, you know, like let's say it's a fitness goal. And, you know, if you're approaching this goal and, and I'm, I'm focused on weight loss or something like that, but if it's coming from a mindset where it might feel even like a little critical, that's hard to sustain. And, and it's not very motivating to feel like, um, you know, this, that, um, that you have to do this in order to feel, you know, not bad about yourself or something like that. Like if it's weight loss. So, um, so maybe so making sure that our mindset is healthy so that we're approaching this goal with, um, with some feelings that aren't negative, but things like feeling hopeful and feeling feelings where we can be able to enjoy the process while it's going along. Because one of the things about, you know, why we struggle with our goals is because it's really, it can be really difficult to sustain motivation whenever, you know, 
we have negative emotions because negative emotions aren't very motivating. No, um, no. And I and I will um, on your point of motivation. I think it's important to have kind of your um, support team, you know, mm -hmm. um, with you uh, that supports you through your goals and kind of building that because um, I'll use you know example. Um, I you know did dry January, um, and I always I have a um, girlfriend um one of my best friends and we always do it. Um, there was one year I didn't do it. I was moving that um, January, and I told her from the beginning I was like I'm moving. There's no way I'm doing dry January during a move, mm -hmm. but um, otherwise we do it, and it's you know having that support having you know, and accountability, I mm -hmm. think is the other thing. And it keeps your mindset that you de definitely don't want to tell your, um, your girlfriend that you slipped up <laughs> mm -hmm. and then you feel sure. accountable because she's going to call. I will tell you, my girlfriend will call, call me out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There's a lot, a lot of factors there, but you know, definitely, you know, we want to go into, you know, our goals where, you know, the goals feel, you know, they, they fit in, in a, you know, in a hopeful way and, and in a way that makes us feel good. And so, you know, if we're looking at our goals and our goals fit in with, you know, we're doing this because it's important for us and it's meaningful, that's a really good place to start. And then we kind of shift into this other place of, you know, how the feasibility of it and, and our expectations and, and planning for it. And so, you know, kind of like with, you know, with dry January or, right. you know, if you, you might kind of look at, um, you know, the feasibility of, you know, like, okay, so this is my goal, but what, what's, what will this month look like? What's coming up? You know, so, you know, if I, if I have whenever um, it's the month of December, you know, that's so tricky because I have my birthday, we've got the holidays, you know, there's like so many people I know who have these December birthdays. And so, you know, keeping that in mind, there's just certain things that are going to be tricky to do in that month. So we want to definitely kind of know what's ahead of us and, and, planning even kind of around those goals um, and kind of along the lines of having, you know, this feasible goal where, you know, we, we're kind of trying to see how realistic it is and how achievable it is. We definitely, it doesn't hurt to also take a look back to see what have I done before? How have I worked on this before? What was successful? What wasn't successful? Right. And, you know, and kind of learning from that so that we don't approach it the same way and then, you know, sometimes we might look at an old, a goal that we've worked on before and we can even identify some trends. Like I usually, you know, progress really well and then I plateau and how long does, when, how long does it take to get to that point of plateau? Um, so we can even prepare for that so that we can anticipate it and, you know, maybe try to prevent it or to try to have a, a game plan of what to do whenever there are some bumps in the road. Yes, though no, I like that um, kind of forecast, you know, <laughs> forecast for those, you know, a little bit of bumps um, that could occur and um, that could bring you to a setback. And Absolutely. Like, so for example, this, this weather was so cold yes. and, you know, and I, you know, I, I don't do well with that cold and I'm not as, I don't have as much energy. So, yes. yeah, so I don't keep up with certain things as much as I do, especially anything that involves moving around outside. So, you know, just sometimes even in, you know, I guess planning for even just how the weather might affect us and, and planning for, you know, like for me, whenever it's bright outside in the summertime. So there are certain goals that, you know, I, I kind of use my momentum and my, how, what I know about myself to kind of plan around, like, you know, so we're not working against ourselves. Right. Like, Okay, so I function best doing these things even certain times of the year. Right. No, and you know your point with um, the cold. You know, I noticed it. You know, I think we notice it on you know just getting out the roads. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed it last week when I was at the gym, and the you know I looked at my trainer and I said, "Gosh, it's really quiet for our January." Mm -hmm. And um, then this week. It has been a little bit different, um, mm -hmm. same time um, of the day that I go, um, but it's been a lot busier. It's like people didn't want to get out. You know, it, they were nice and you know nestled. I, hey, I'm right there. I did not want to get out of my bed. I was all nestled with all my cocoon mm -hmm. blankets over me, 
Um, but that motivation and again, I think it's the accountability to if you you have that person um, that is cheering you on or helping you or making you feel accountable um, helps you with your goals. So it's so powerful to have that accountability because, um, you know, sometimes we can even get, it can be a little confusing. We, we might, you know, like some of the people who go into the new year and, right. and, and have these goals and, and they start off really strong, but sometimes there are factors that, you know, kind of shift our progress right? and we slow down a little bit, like the weather, you know, like okay. different things. And sometimes it, oftentimes it's very hard to be able to see the big picture. So having somebody, you know, who, who a support person who keeps you accountable and, and helps you keep moving, you know, that's the really important thing about with our goals. It isn't how fast we're going or, um, or if we have ups and downs, that's natural. Right. What makes us successful with our goal is just moving forward. And all of it is growth. It's personal growth and it's, it's movement. Right. And so as long as we're moving, we're working on our goal. It just might, we might have a different pace at different times. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes might not notice that and we might get really discouraged. So sometimes we might have somebody who just helps us literally keep showing up like a personal trainer. Right. Um, and also, you know, maybe somebody who can also just, you know, help you take a step back and, and let you know that, you know, you, you can't sustain, you know, an amount of progress on something at that level all the time that there will be these natural, you know, declines, like, you know, it's, it was cold this week or you yeah. were sick. So of course you didn't do this or right. this happened or that happened. And that doesn't mean you went backwards. It doesn't mean you have to make up for anything. You're still moving forward, right? It's just part of the process and the, and the journey. Well, and I think the, um, to also point out is that everything we're talking about, I know everyone thinks of January as, you know, fitness, health, you know, all that, but it's with anything in your life, um, whether it's maybe you've decided that you're going to take up a new hobby. Um, so you're going to, or you're going to learn something new and all of that. Um, or maybe you have a goal setting with your work that you want to achieve a certain um, level or you're going after, you know, a certain job promotion, you know, all of the, um, the tips that we're talking about can be used, um, to achieve because that's a goal. So mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So we have these, we have career goals, we have personal goals right. and, you know, and, and we want to make sure that the goals that we have, you know, of course, you know, number one, we're very clear on our mindset going in and what's, um, you know, the expectations going in and, and so part of feasibility of a goal and to make, to help make sure that we are successful is that the goal is, is very specific. It's measurable, which means that we're able to track progress, right? Which can be kind of tricky because some goals, they may have, um, really, you know, quantitative way, there might be really quantitative ways of tracking progress. Like, um, you know, I exercised this many times a week or I learned, you know, this specific skill. And then there are sort of these qualitative things that are also important to look at, like, you know, this was personal growth, or I, you know, I feel more energetic in the mornings. So that helps me know that my sleep, you know, even though there's this data point of I'm getting X more hours of sleep, we can also look at this qualitative goal of, I feel more rested. Um, I have more motivation. I'm interacting and feeling more present and focused, you know, so sometimes these are a little bit trickier. It's a little bit trickier progress to right. note, but you know, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's, no, cause I, I think everyone wants to see that measure, you know, that mm -hmm. cause we're so focused on the, you know, I'll use in school grades and, you know, mm -hmm. those, the numbers, um, when you're trying to lose weight, you look at the scale, you're like, why mm -hmm. am I not losing, you know, or I, you know, I'm kind of plateaued, you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing the scale, you know, going downwards as mm -hmm. much as I was, you know, hoping for, but maybe on the flip side, what the things that you're not, you know, taking into account is, you know, your sleep patterns, you're much more restful. Um, you are, you know, 
look at your actual behavior. Maybe, you know, your skin, you know, is, you know, much more clearer. I think that, um, that's something um, that a lot of people don't, you know, take into account. Um, but it does, I mean, what you're putting in, um, your body does, you know, reflect on the outside. And Absolutely. So, and, and negative reinforcement isn't, it's not sustainable whenever we, we, we have, um, you know, negative feelings or, or we, you know, if we're more in tune with like, you know, not having progress or what did I not do, or this wasn't enough. Sometimes there's an amount of that that can help kind of push us, propel us, but it isn't sustainable. What is sustainable is having more positive feelings and, and feeling hope and being able to notice and celebrate, um, you know, change and progress because it's always there, but it's, it really can be very difficult sometimes to see. So we have to be really intentional. So one of the neat things that I like to incorporate, especially with my clients as a, you know, mental health care provider is having weekly intentions. Okay. And so it's, you know, approaching the week and you're intentional about, um, about something you know, that you'll do something that will happen, but where it, it feels positive, you know, right. so, so especially, you know, so it's kind of tricky with, you know, with, if you're a physician, you know, you, you have again, data points of, you know, this is blood pressure. You're healthier because this data is different. Your blood work is different. Mm -hmm. So with mental health, sometimes it can be tricky of, you know, how can you tell that somebody's feeling better? So, so it could be something like, you know, I'm part of feeling better is, um, something got me down but it didn't get me down as long or i bounced back or i feel hopeful or i'm more tolerant or you know so some of these kind of again qualitative kinds of experiences but again i like to have you know my clients or and encourage other people to have you know you can even have daily intentions but something that you can focus on that you feel like you can achieve that, um, you know, that you do whenever you approach the week. Whenever we are going into this new year, you know, as I mentioned before, we're setting, you know, we're making sure to set goals with a healthy mindset. So that means that we're, we have these goals that we, that help us feel more, more hopeful. And, um, and these goals are feasible and, you know, we've anticipated, you know, we, we know kind of what to expect, but also so important that we're tracking our progress, you know, so these goals have been measurable enough that we actually can tell whenever we're progressing and we're trying to notice whenever we're progressing and trying to track that progress pretty ongoing and, um, and important that whenever we're tracking progress, that we're tracking positive progress as opposed to, um, getting focused on what we're not doing, or I didn't do this. So, you know, it could be, um, so, so we're making sure to use, you know, like hopeful language and positive language. Like I, um, I, I worked out this week and I, you know, so I, I, I did that and not, but it wasn't good enough or I didn't do this, including it, but I did work out and I was moving forward and I didn't give up and maybe I had a bad, you know, workout but I still kept going. So important that we're tracking it and that we're also kind of giving ourselves some encouragement along the way to help us stay motivated. Yeah, and I, I love that, you know, the progress, I think the progress um, aspect is so important for people uh, because I think that's when you start to maybe slide. Um, but if you can see your progress, whatever it is, whether you're, you know, your, it's fitness, it's weight loss, it's taking up a new hobby um, or learning something, or, you know, we talked about, you know, job, you know, you're going for, you know, a big job promotion and you can see the progress and whatever the end job, you're seeing that progress helping you. Um, mm -hmm. You're learning something, you're learning also about yourself, I think, in this mm -hmm. whole journey. Um, and Absolutely. That's and I think that important. it's really, I, I was going to say, it's really just so helpful to have a support system behind you. And, and sometimes, you know, maybe working with a therapist or working, you know, if it's yeah. fitness goals, a personal trainer, or if there are career goals, having, you know, mentorship, somebody who's also helping you see the, your progress. I mean, we can really overlook it. We can be, you know, sometimes self-critical. And, you know, I remember working out with 
um, a personal trainer and I, it was difficult for, I mean, I, I'd have my mindset on, on data points, but there were times whenever he um, had, you know, had me videotape, uh, like, you know, kind of a video clip right. of me working out to sort of see myself. And there were some things I noticed, not just I'm going to the gym or here's this data or this is an amount of weight, but just to see that my body looked stronger or my form looked stronger or um, I I had, you know, my um, my form looked better than it did before. And so just sometimes there are these things that we might miss, you know, and, and as a therapist, you know, coming in and having, you know, somebody who's seeing me and, and maybe we're working on anxiety or depression or, you know, ADHD and, and they're having difficulty with planning and organization, they can definitely, you know, have a hard time being able to see their progress and change. And so it definitely helps for somebody, having somebody who can also help you see and track progress that you just might not know to look for that you might miss um, because definitely helps you stay motivated and keep going. Now, I, I love all these points. I mean, I think hopefully viewers, you've seen um, if whether you're the one that is the cheerleader going th forward with your progress um, into the new year on your goal sets, um, the one that um, you maybe you have some bumps in the roll, um, road in um, January and you're trying to pick up the pieces um, to keep going or you're the one that is it too late? It's never too late. Um, and so hopefully all these um, pillars will help you um, on a successful journey of your goal settings for 2024. Gina, thank you so much for uh, visiting with us today and cheers to 2024. <laughs> My pleasure. Happy New Year. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast on Apple and Spotify, as well as Kimberly's YouTube channel. If you'd like to contact Kimberly directly, you can email her at KimberlyWoodard at ebby.com or call 214-632-2092. We hope you enjoyed our guest this week. And remember, don't just love your home, love your community.